What's going on YouTube? Uh, as you can see in the uh, description, this is uh, titled Out of the Mouth. Um, we're actually going to open to the book of Matthew, um, chapter 12, verse 34. O generation of vipers, how can ye, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh. Dear Lord, Please let your word go forth, edifying those who will hear. And I thank you for giving me this opportunity to preach your word. In Jesus' name, amen. We're going to go to uh, Proverbs chapter 10, verse 11. The mouth of a righteous man is well of life, but violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. Now, as Christians... Every word that comes out of our mouth should be edifying. I mean, and, and one thing, I, I bet you didn't know that every sin, every sin is forgivable except for one. Um, and the one sin that is not forgivable comes out of the mouth. It's not murder. It's not, it's not even false doctrine. It's not, it's not blaspheming Jesus Christ or God the, himself the ultimate sin and not, let me read for you and there's out of the synoptic gospels there's three in each gospel it does have this uh, mark 3 uh, chapter 3 verse 28 and 29 Matthew 12 31 32 and Luke 12 chapter 10 um, for time's sake I'm gonna go to Matthew since we have we're open to Matthew 12 we're gonna go to verse 31 wherefore I say unto you all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men but the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit shall not be forgiven unto men and whosoever speaketh the word against the Son of Man it shall be forgiven him but whoever speaketh against the Holy the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven him, neither in this world, neither in the world to come. So there is an unforgivable sin, and it's speaking with the mouth. It's spoken with the mouth, and it's in all three Gospels, the, all three Synoptic Gospels. Um, again, Mark chapter 3, 28 through 29, if you want to read it. I just read you uh, Matthew 12, 31, 32, and in Luke uh, chapter 12, verse 10. And that's absolutely frightening to think that there is a sin, and, and and I couldn't truly explain it to you what blasphemy of the Holy Ghost truly is. Um, that's something that I'm, I'm I'm looking into. I mean, I I, I have an idea what it is, and um, because the the verse taken out of context, if you put it into context, this was when Jesus was with the Pharisees uh, were around and some of the Sadducees, and he healed a man. Um, and it, it took a deaf and dumb spirit out of the man, and they said that he heals in the name of Beelzebub. Beelzebub being Baal or Baalzebub, the old um, Baal or Baal, the old worship uh, that the that the Hebrews had problems with all the way uh, back from the beginning of time. Um, so that's a frightening thing that that it's not violent. It's not something that we can do physically, but it's something with our mouth. Just like um, I mean. The, the mouth can be a, a double-edged sword and can and can cause problems that that physical physical things could never you can never imagine um, you know what you say and what you don't say are both important you know proper speech is not only saying the right words at the right time and saying them properly and at the, the right time but controlling the impulse to say the wrong things um, saying what you shouldn't, gossiping, insulting, uh, bragging, lying, false teaching, manipulating, complaining, exaggerating. You know, before you speak, you must ask, is what I want to say true? Is what I want to say necessary? And is what I want to say kind? And I can also say, is it edifying to others? And it does it glorify God. Um, Satan uses the tongue to divide people and pit people against each other. You have to remember this. Um, in James, he describes the tongue and in, in, in words as like a fire. Um, you know, the uncontrollable tongue can do terrible damage. Just a few words can destroy a relationship instantly that took a lifetime to build. I mean, um, it can incite riots, it can incite violence, it can even incite death. So, so as Christians, we have to watch what we say. We have to be very vigilant of, of watching what we say and rebuke others that 
that are, are out of line with their mouth. Um, because we as Christians, the time's coming at, to, to an end, my friends. And, and, and Jesus is coming for a spotless church, a spotless lamb. And you have to be ready. You have to be ready. Um, and, and like I said even earlier, in, even to, unto death, your mouth can cause you eternal damnation. You know, how do we know when our what, who our speech is motivated by? Because if Satan can use it to divide people, uh, obviously God can use it to edify. And so, so obviously it's it's not too hard to know what our speak is, what our speech, excuse me, is is actually motivated by. Is it full of bitter jealousy, selfish ambition, earthly concerns and desires? Is it uh, unspiritual thoughts and ideas? Uh, disorder, evil, or is it purity, peace, submission, mercy? Um, is it considerate consideration to others? Is it, is it sincerity, goodness? You know, the, the one or the other should tell you exactly. You know, who is controlling your speech at the time, or who's influencing you at the time? I mean, to me, it's almost like it, it's like the devil is almost like a, a Wi-Fi signal. He, he he just hits areas and puts out moods and signals and, and things of that nature, and those that are susceptible follow along and and and, and go with it. Um, I mean, so you have to know who's influencing your heart, just as it said in in Matthew twelve thirty four, out of the mouth speak at the heart so uh, you know let's go to you know and who's controlling your heart i mean you go to pro uh, what is it uh, proverbs 21 2 every way of a man is righteous in his own eyes but the lord pondereth the hearts if that's how it goes i'm not going to open to it but 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 the lord's pondering the heart he can see what's inside your heart so uh, let's open to uh, the book of luke Luke 6, 45. Luke chapter 6, verse 45. And in uh, Luke chapter 6, 45, it reads, A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good. And an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth which is evil. For the abundance of the heart his mouth speaketh. So it's reiterating, obviously, Matthew twelve thirty four. Well, let's open to the book of Proverbs, chapter four in the book of Proverbs. Uh, verse twenty four. Put away from thee a froward mouth, and perverse lips put far from thee. So throughout the book, it it's, it's it's telling you, warning you about your mouth. Now, is your speech edifying to others, pleasing to God? The tongue gives us a picture of our basic human nature. Only accepting the Lord Jesus Christ into our hearts, repenting of our sins, and turning our lives over to Him is going to purify our hearts. Lord, I hope that this little talk and this little uh, uh, video is edifying to some. I hope uh, your word is, uh, is laying out the seeds and I hope your word goes out the fertile ground. Like again, I'm laying out the seeds and you will give the increase, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Y'all have a good day. We'll be coming out again with the adversary. I'm still trying to put this together, but y'all keep, keep it tight and have a good day, my friends.